so this is the sort of thing I like. I walk into the store on Sunday morning and I see this bin here. A bin full of Super Nintendo, NES, and Atari, and some Coleco games as well. There are some really good games in here. And there it is. Hey guys, welcome to TND Video Games. Thank you for watching. We're going to get right into it today. We're going to get right to that big collection that we have with the Bucky O'Hare. Let's go. All right, guys, I've got everything lined up here, and I am super excited to show this to you. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here, and let's get right to it, okay? So we're going to start off with the Atari and the Coleco, which I normally wouldn't start off with, but I mean, look at that. This is so awesome. We haven't had this much Atari and Coleco come, like, it's been a couple of years at least, right? So I'm just going to pan over the games here. I'll be honest with you, like, I have not played a lot of these games, so I can't really speak to them. I know people don't like E.T., but people like their E.T. because of the, uh, you know, the lure. So, yeah, we got all these games here. I mean, classics, a lot of doubles here, which is totally fine. One game put in backwards, unacceptable. And even some of the carts, for me personally, I've never seen them. Like, you get these games at the bottom here, and if you know anything about this, please let me know. But some of them have just sort of these, like, you know, white sort of generic labels, and the artwork on them is fantastic. These are some neat ones as well. So definitely some different companies made carts for this system. So all of those are going to go on the shelf. Oh, man. Guys, this is going to be awesome. And then these here sort of don't have end labels, and they're just so neat. Like, I have no what this is. Fraction Fever. And then look at that one, guys. Chuck Norris. Kicking ass. Look at that. Man, that'd be awesome just to display in your collection. And then we got a couple of Fisher Price games. And then going over the NES here, we got the Maxi 15, the MiG 29. Let's go right to the big heavy hitter here. We got Bucky O'Hare, and guys, this isn't just a heavy hitter. This is a really good game. If you've played Bucky O'Hare, I mean, man, this game is fun. And it's it's like forgiving. You got to work at it. You got all the extra lives. Unlimited continues. There's really no excuse with that game. Such a good game, and I think it's the first time we've had it in, man, at least a couple of years. And got your Toki there too. Another really good game actually for the NES. Go through all here. So Link, obviously an awesome one. Star Trek 25th Anniversary. That's a really bad label of Super C right there. Robocop, Zoda's Revenge, Part 2 to Star Tropics. And Silkworm, that's another sort of obscure game. Okay, so this is so cool. I love getting games like this. And then you see this sticker here, Video Shed. I love the warning. If tape is damaged, patron must pay for it. So if you ruin this tape, quote unquote, you got to pay for it. Silkworm from the Video Shed. And then finally, we've got the Super Nintendo. A lot of good games in here. Unfortunately, some damage here with the War Gems cart, but, you know, it'll still sell and we'll just have to reduce the price on that one. A few filler titles in here as well, but you know, SimCity, Dino City, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, love that game, especially around Halloween. Magic Sword, that's another really good one in there too. Lion King, people get nostalgic for this game. <laughs> they buy it, they take it, I don't know. That's a hard game to play. Mechanics on that game are a little bit broken. Got your Shaq Fu, a very good idea back in the 90s. And then Tetris and Dr. Mario, that's a good one as well there. For Samurai, Jurassic Park. Skull Jaga. Last Action Hero, which is a very expensive game on the NES, but not so much on the Super Nintendo. Act Razor and True Lies and Super Ghouls and Ghosts. All great games there. Really happy to get the True Lies card. Every time we get that in, it sells pretty much right away. So guys, I'm going to take some pictures, post this to Facebook. Really excited to be adding all of this in here. Just super, super cool. All right, guys. So these are some of the cards that I was talking about. Like, look at the artwork on that. That is so, so cool. I mean, look at the airplane. I love that. Look at this one here. Unbelievable. I wonder what game they're trying to rip off here. Hmm. Let me think about that for a second. What's it called? Challenge. <laughs> yeah, so that's the cart for challenge. Ghostbuster challenge. And then we got this one here. These are like really good, really well-drawn carts. They really remind me of the Color Dream games for the uh, original Nintendo. But I gotta go back to this one here. I mean... Look at that airplane. Super, super cool. And you know what? One more time. Chuck Norris. Boom! Look, first off, I'm going to address this. I've got a bit of a cold, so my voice is doing the whole voice thing. I'm also trying to put the lapel here today, so we'll see how that goes. I tried it last week, like, sort of, like, right here. 
and the sound was all muffled. If you guys watch us regularly, please let me know what you think of the lapel mic. I'm going to try it out one more day, see how it goes. If it doesn't go well, it's going bye-bye. So now that we have the, the big collection out, I had to make room on the shelves for everything, right? So I made a little bit of room right here in our NES section. So the NES section used to actually be four full rows. We haven't been getting as much of the obscure stuff in lately, so it's sort of more of the commons. There are some like you know neat alternative games in there, but uh, not 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 a lot of the the you know the, the sort of the weird and the obscure ones. So I've made some room on the shelf for the Atari and Coleco games. I'm gonna tell you something, guys. Like six months ago, we didn't even have Atari games in the store. We didn't have any, so it's kind of cool to get some of that stuff traded in. I'm always happy to add new games to the shelves and add some like you know different variety, right? There are collectors that come in looking for Coleco and Atari games. And I know they're going to be really jazzed to see these games. All right, guys. So this is the way I like to price all of my games. So obviously using price charting here for the Atari and Coleco stuff and Intellivision stuff. There's actually been some Intellivision games in here. And I like to stack them up and then go with the price sticker, right? So all these games here are going to be $3 in this row. These are all going to be $5. We got $8, $10, $20, $25, and $30. These these are actually like $50 games, but I really don't think they're going to sell for that price. I should mention also that I price all the Atari and Coleco like way cheaper than what it would go for, right? It's not a huge seller for us, and these games are sort of ubiquitous out there. And then just have to price the Coleco, but I'm going to do that separately. This is actually a Coleco game there too. It's pretty cool when you look them up, right? This one's funny. BC's Quest for Tires. <laughs> I, love the, I love the title. Also, there was another one here that caught my eye dragsters those definitely look like dragsters right all right guys so all of the atari and coleco games are up on the shelf right here i've alphabetized them and sort of culled the collection so we've only got one of each game maybe two of each i left two et's because people really like that game so you never know so this is our new coleco slash atari section which sits right under the nes all right, so time to do some client orders. I had one client looking for a Pokemon Y and Pokemon X for the 3DS. Had another client looking for the Herbs Sims in the City for the GameCube. Another client messaged me looking for The Thing. This is a pretty uncommon game for the PS2. Terrifying artwork, absolutely beautiful. Had someone else looking for the SNES Multitap. This is a really hard item to find as well, and we actually happen to have one in stock. And finally, I have these two Wii U games here. Somebody looking for Twilight Princess HD and Zelda Wind Waker HD. Two pretty sought-after games for the Wii U. Also, two of the pricier games for the Wii U. This client is also looking for a Wii U console, so we'll see if they're interested. We still have the bundle over there. And we have one over there on our shelf. Feel free to message us any Sunday and we'll message you back with any of the items that we have in store. All right, guys. So as promised, I would show you the Wii bundles that I made. And what I'm going to do is take a bunch of these and bundle them with some of our Nintendo Wiis. Now, if you've heard me talk before, you know that we have Wiis. So we need to move those Wii consoles because the truth is we're going to be getting many, 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 many more over the upcoming months and we basically sell them at a huge discount just to move them so i was able to make three bundles with the games that i pulled from the storage unit earlier in the week so each one of them is priced a little differently this one here is 75 dollars just some generic games in there this one here is also 75 dollars once again some generic games that we have lots of right now in stock and finally i made this bundle here this is probably the nicest one of the lot you got your zelda skyward sword there for $85. So basically we sell a Wii on its own for $75. Comes with all the cables, one nunchuck, and one Wiimote. So these two bundles here, the first two, are actually basically the console and the games are sort of a throw-in. This one here, you're getting the console and all those games for $10. Zelda Skyward Sword is actually a $30 game, so that's definitely your best value there. I have a lot of Skyward Swords, so I thought, you know what, let's make one of those bundles for Christmas coming up. So what I'm going to do is take these three bundles and I'll probably put two of them out here. I made a little spot on the shelf right there and it's right near the Wii section here. And I am fairly certain that they'll sell before Christmas. 
and I will let you know for sure when they do. All right, guys, so we got our first trade of the day here, a pretty nice Wii U lot here. Everything is in really pristine condition, including the box. Like, this is a gorgeous looking box here. I gotta be honest with you, I've always loved the simplicity of the Super Mario 3D World Deluxe set. It's just pretty gorgeous on the back here. So we got two Pro Controllers. They're both in really, really nice shape. And we have two of the Wiimotes with the Wii Motion Plus. We always need those. They sell well for the Wii and the Wii U. And then you got just basically all the staples right here. Like every single one of these games is exactly what I would recommend to somebody if they were looking to grab the system. I'd say the only game that's maybe not there, for me anyways, is Nintendo Land. I, I'd, I'd also argue maybe the, the Breath of the Wild games, but definitely some banger games here. I mean, this is pretty perfect if you're going to get a Wii U system. So nice first trade of the day. I'll be pricing all of this shortly. I'm pretty sure we have most of it already in stock in our Wii U section down there that's been freshly restocked. But if I don't have any games in stock, I'll be putting them on the shelves. And if not, they'll go into the storage unit for when we sell the games eventually. All right, guys, we've got another really nice trade in here. This is from our buddy, Sam. He sells to us, I'd say every four to five months. He's been slowly culling his Switch collection and PlayStation collection as well. He has the absolute most pristine items. Everything in Sam's collection is always in excellent shape. So we're always very happy to buy it. So we got all these Switch games going into the store here. As you know, we're always looking to get more Switch to build up our Switch section. Super, super happy to get all of these in here. Got the Trinity collection for the Switch. We actually have this for the PS4, so we have uh, another collection now for the Switch, which is pretty awesome. Got your Silent Hill 4 there, the room. And then, what's this? Some, some sort of sound memoir. Looks like this is a music disc. Got a couple of manuals for Golden Sun. And we also got this guide here for Golden Sun. Really, really cool to get that one in as well. Finally, we've got these 3DS games. I'd say that Shovel Knight game might not last the day. We shall see. So thanks, Sam, for the trade-in. Really appreciate it. And this is all going to be going up on the shelves shortly. All right, guys. So just quickly want to tell you, just had a super awesome conversation with a client, a regular of ours. He's a younger kid. I think his name is Alan. Ooh, I hope it's Alan because I know he watches the videos. He says he loves them. I appreciate that so much. And he basically just, you know, every few weeks, he'll grab some games, play them, and then he trades them back into the store, which is awesome. And today he actually traded in a very beautiful Super Nintendo and then a few games down here, Donkey Kong, The Quarry, and uh, Mario Golf. And anyway, just want to say thank you for watching and thank you for trading in with us. And, you know, he, he would know this too, and other regular clients would know, but, you know, you bring in that Nintendo stuff, we're going to give you really good trade credit for it. And we appreciate when clients do that, bringing in like really good Nintendo that sells. So thank you so much. All right, guys, we have another trade here. We got some loose disc games and some CIB games here. I'd say the highlights here are the Spider-Man games. So we got the Spider-Man Web of Shadows there and then Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions there. Got a few loose disc games here. Got your Minecraft for the 360, always a good seller. And punch out for the Wii. So I'll we'll put those in some plastic baggies and price them after I've tested them, of course. Except for you. Nobody's buying you. Yeah, so got these in here. Nothing too crazy. Good to get the Star Wars Battlefront game. People are loving the Star Wars games for the original Xbox lately. And then a lot of filler titles, but again, not too bad a trade. So as always, I'll be pricing these and putting them out on the shelves shortly. All right, guys. So it's been pretty steady all morning it's around noon got a bunch of trades right here i'm gonna be putting those all up taking some pictures and posting them so we had some good sales today i sold one of the wii bundles right away which is awesome and just a lot of like nintendo a lot of nes is really selling well and yeah it's been a pretty good day We're getting lots of trades so i'm excited to show you everything right there all right guys so this is our latest trade a lot of quality in here a lot of really really cool stuff so i'll start off right away with the turbo graphics 16 hard shell carrying case these are ridiculously rare and really hard to get in although i believe we've actually had one of these before but it's been at least two to three years we also got a game boy player with disc Always have the player, but we don't often get the disc. So really good to get that in. Then over here, some really neat items as well. So we got the Wind Waker combo pack here. 
this is a crazy expensive game right now and we have not had this one in a very long time awesome to get that one in and then we got mario golf for the n64 donkey kong country a few more super nintendo games there including street fighter 2 and earthworm gym got us some more switch titles in here a lot of good titles in here really happy to be getting the switch and then a ps5 game the quarry Finally, we got Kirby's Adventure, and there's an interesting story here with this game. So this game is French only. So Joe got this in last week, and he gave it to me to put into the store this weekend. And turns out they actually made two NES games in French only. And one of them is Kirby's Adventure, and the other one is, is Zelda 2. I'm going to be putting that in the store, but I will be putting a sticker on it telling people that it is only the French version. We have a lot of French clients living here in Ottawa, so I'm fairly certain that we'll get someone coming in to purchase this game. Really happy with all these trades. Going to take some pictures and post them to Facebook right now. All right, so this happens once in a while, guys, where somebody will ask us, you know, do you sell games, right? And obviously we sell games. And so someone asked us today, do you sell Sega Genesis games? And I was like, yes, we do. I took a few, you know, pictures of the sections and said, you know, there's hundreds in stock. Come have at her. <laughs> and then he, he messaged me back, messages me back and he's like, can you send me a list with the prices? And like, th we get this a lot, right? And I'm like, so you want me to start writing out all the games and then give you the prices? I'm like, I, I can't do that. Like, there's no way. And I don't know. It's, so I, my, res my common response is we do not have an online inventory, which is true. We don't have an online inventory. But I find that question just as it's like, no, just come in and browse. You know, like you ask me if you have, if I have games, we got games. If you ask me, like, do you have one or two games in stock? Like, sure, I'll go check for you. But like, I can't go out and price all the games and blah, 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 blah. Not happening. All right. So it's mystery game time. Guys, this game was traded in last week and I have no idea what game it is. And I have no idea if I'm even game enough for it. If you look on the side here, no description and even on the back. So... Way to go, Blockbuster. <laughs> uh, side note, I used to work for Blockbuster, and let me tell you, eh, we made these mistakes. So anyways, let's find out what game is inside. Here we go, guys. Ready for the drum roll? And here it is. It's a disc. Ooh, not bad. Second opinion, Trauma Center. Blockbuster 07062. I would not have guessed that in a million years. I would have thought it would have been one of the more common games. So anyway, what I'll do is probably put that in a little plastic baggie and put it in with the other Wii games that we have sitting over there. Pretty neat. Blockbuster. Are you game enough? Whoa, 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 whoa. So I was racking my brain about what to talk about today, right? And guys, we are fresh in the Christmas shopping season. And this season is all about moms and dads coming to the store with their iPhones and huge lists on there from their kids. And so number one, I wanted to ask you, do you give your parents lists of retro games to purchase from our store or from another store that you go to? So I would always give my mom a list of games that I wanted. And, and I remember one year she got me Toxic Crusaders for the NES. And I knew that it was available at her local game store where, where she lived, which is about four hours from me. So she bought it for me and it was pretty cool getting that as an adult. But do you give your parents lists, uh, you know, do you give them lists of things you want? And then also do you give them like crazy giant lists and then not tell them about prices because sometimes people come in here and they're like, what do you mean these games are super expensive, right? Like this is a hundred dollar game. And most of the time parents know, they're like, yeah, we know. We know this is an expensive one. And sometimes they don't, you know, we're getting a lot of those people coming in with those lists now, which is super awesome. Just thought I'd, I'd sort of talk about that because we're in the middle of that season. Kids are giving their parents lists, kids of all ages, by the way. And I wanted to know, do you guys do the same thing? Do you give your parents lists? We have another little trade in here, all Nintendo. Got a couple of Zelda games here, Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii and Zelda Wind Waker HD for the Wii U. A couple of N64 games here. The new Tetris is a little bit more uncommon. And from what I've heard, it's actually a pretty good Tetris game. We've got Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Y, and Zelda Oracle of Seasons. And I almost forgot to mention Nagano Winter Olympics 98. All right, guys, so it has been incredibly busy today. It was weird. I had like a one hour lull where there were maybe one or two customers and then for like good couple of hours just bang 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 big highlights that sold we sold this like retro duo bundle with a bunch of nes and super nintendo games always cool to sell those bundles people love them it was actually up here behind me right beside the dreamcast for the longest time like a good two months and then i put it down on the floor right over there and sure enough it sold 
that day. That happens, right? The other big sale was a copy of Heart Gold with the box and the Pokey Walker. That was a big sale. Somebody from the United States actually came here and purchased it. He said that he doesn't have any of this stuff where he is, and he was just like super happy to get it. Yeah, so really busy. The sales were smaller today, which was totally cool because that big <laughs> that big lot I got this morning, like that took up most of my morning just pricing it, putting it on the shelves. So I was actually kind of happy that it wasn't a crazy busy day for trades, but everything that came in was pretty quality. It's been a good day. We'll see what else happens. Okay, guys, so this is probably our last trades of the day. I say trades because this is actually three trades. So it's pretty small, but a few different people came in, you know, with a couple of games, and that is totally fine. We are good to take a few games at a time. So we got these loose disc games in here. I put them in some plastic baggies and I'll be pricing those way lower than what they would go for as a complete copy. I've also got a couple of N64 games there. Always good to get N64. Got Pokemon Diamond. Good to get another Pokemon game. We don't have a lot of loose Pokemon game. We have a lot of CIB, but nothing loose. And then this Zookeeper game, a couple of PS3 games, PS4 game there, a couple of PS2 games and then metroid prime and the anniversary collection also got in a gamecube the indigo one but i already had one in stock so i didn't put it in the picture there we go our latest and probably our last trade of the day okay so question of the day do you collect for atari or coleco do you have any nostalgia for those games i think if you have nostalgia for that system and those games you're probably over 45 years old i'm guessing right like i'm 44 and I remember the Atari, but I really don't remember playing it as a kid. I remember seeing it. And I'm wondering, do you have nostalgia for that system as well? And also, did you order the new Atari console that came out that actually allows you to play Atari games? I'm curious about this. Dan and I were talking about it today. He was in the store. It'd be really neat if like more Atari games sold because the new system, which is now HDMI compatible, you know, plays those games. So I'm curious to see what happens. So yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about the Atari and the Coleco? All right, guys, that's all for me. Wow, what a day. <laughs> it was crazy. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Leave a comment down below. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time. Cheers.